Nikola Tesla was often considered a way ahead of his time. A number of inventions actually define the world we know today. But not all of his inventions were accepted by the public. From a UFO, alien spacecraft, to an earthquake machine. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Today, Lindsay and I are bringing to you top 10 mysterious inventions by Nikola Tesla that were never built, sadly, because they sound really cool. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan. And I'm Rachel Fisher. And uh, why don't you smash that like button? Obviously, subscribe to our channel. Uh, and comment something down below because we like reading your comments. Now, we'll get on with the video. Starting off number 10, we have the earthquake machine. Sometimes accidents happen, which is why it's important to have a team who can have your back. Tesla was known for being a risk taker and innovator, and you can't take risks without causing some damage sometimes. Comes with the territory. Tesla had patented a steam powered mechanical oscillator that would vibrate up and down to generate electricity. He built the machine in 1893 in his laboratory in New York, and one day he thought, Hey, I want to see if I can tune the oscillator to the vibration of the building I'm in. Bad idea. The whole thing almost came tumbling down. During his test, Tesla started hearing cracking as he was turning up the power and soon all the heavy machinery started flying about the place. Hence the name earthquake machine. Tesla had to take a hammer to it in order to stop it from bringing the house down. Obviously someone had to call the police over the event and his team had his back. The entire team got quiet as Tesla explained that it must have been an earthquake, but no one knew that he'd accidentally turned his oscillator into an earthquake machine. In our ninth spot today, we have the death ray, which is as terrifying as it sounds. Basically, Tesla wanted to create a weapon that could destroy entire armies from afar. It would be done by accelerating mercury isotopes to 48 times the speed of sound inside of a vacuum chamber. Then it would shoot a high velocity beam out and the beam would cause serious damage and could be used from a great distance. Tesla even said, and I quote, it will bring down a fleet of 10,000 enemy airplanes at a distance of 250 miles. Tesla thought that this would be great for the governments. In fact, he pitched it to multiple governments, but he was constantly shut down. Now, the Soviet Union showed some interest and a partial test was conducted, but it didn't go as Tesla hoped, which I mean, I think is a good thing. Can you imagine people using this weapon during the wars or even nowadays? It would be very disastrous. Number eight, the thought camera. Nikola Tesla is like the grandfather to Black Mirror. Like he, he is that show. Though Tesla came up with the idea for the thought camera in 1893, he only spoke about it in 1933. He told the Kansas City Journal Post that his mind had been stewing on the idea of a camera that could read mental imagery. Tesla said, and I quote, I became convinced that a definite image formed in thought must by reflex action produce a corresponding image on the retina, which might be read by a suitable apparatus. Now, if it be true that a thought reflects on an image on the retina, it is a mere question of illuminating the same property in taking photographs and then using the ordinary methods which are available to project the image on a screen. If this can be done successfully, then the objects imagined by a person would be clearly reflected on the screen as they formed. And in this way, every thought of the individual could be read. Our minds would then indeed be like open books." Unquote. I know sometimes I consider myself an open book, but I definitely don't want all my thoughts out there. Like I need the filter. Like my brain just goes everywhere. So I don't want all people seeing that stuff. Moving on to number seven, we have the apparatus for producing ozone. It's as if Tesla was psychic and knew that in the future we would have serious issues with our ozone layer. Why? Because he had a patent for an apparatus that would produce ozone. The apparatus would force air between a pair of electrically charged plates to trigger a reaction. Because if you didn't know, ozone is created by combining oxygen with electricity. I did not know that. You learn something new every day. Anyways, back then, Tesla was concerned about the smoke evil, like the burning of coal polluting the air and causing illnesses. So he thought that if people used this device in their homes, it could purify the air. Well, here's the thing. Ozone in the upper atmosphere protects us from the sun's UV rays. But in our living room, it could seriously harm us. So I'm glad this invention didn't go through as well. Number six, the Wardenclyffe Tower. Though the tower was actually built, it was dismantled in 1917 after it was abandoned by Tesla years earlier. Tesla was a big dreamer and needed even bigger funding backing him in order for any of his ideas to be realized, which he got. 
The Wharton Cliff was a project backed by financier JP Morgan, who gave Tesla 150 grand to build this massive mushroom shaped tower. It was supposed to be capable of transmitting messages and images to ships at sea across the Atlantic, but Tesla had an even bigger idea wireless energy. He believed that he could use radio and microwaves to light up New York by transmitting millions of electricity through the air. However, this idea, should it have been successful, would have crippled other energy sectors that JP Morgan had his little fingers in, so he refused to fund Tesla any further. So Tesla sadly abandoned his project in 1907. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the remote controlled boats. In 1898, Tesla participated in an electrical exposition at Madison Square Garden. While there, Tesla presented the idea of a remote controlled boat using a wireless command post, so basically like a controller. He used this device to change the boat's direction and people were like, whoa, what the hell is going on? He's a wizard, he's using magic, how is he controlling it? He was so far ahead of his time that he even created an anti-hacking mechanism so that no one could get control of the boat. Now he tried to sell this idea to the US Navy. He pitched it saying that they could have pilotless submarines or torpedoes, but they weren't interested. Honestly, he was a brilliant inventor. His inventions were just way too advanced for his time. Now here's the thing that makes this invention mysterious and spooky. Tesla had other plans for this invention. He didn't truly want to make remote controlled boats. No, no, no. He wanted to warm people up to the idea of robots. More on this shortly. Number four, an artificial tidal wave. This next invention was designed to move the seas, if it ever set sail in the first place. Tesla wanted to use physics to prevent war and believe he could harness the power using the sea. In 1907, New York World reported Tesla's new military invasion, which again was supposed to be using wireless telegraphy. The machine was designed to trigger explosions within the sea that would create massive tidal waves big enough to capsize enemy fleets. The purpose would be to make the navies of enemy countries useless. But the invention never came to fruition, but it certainly foreshadowed another detonation device that would bring a world war to an end. Any guesses as to what that might be? And at number three, we have the humanoid robots. Now remember the whole robot thing I just teased about? Well, Tesla wanted to invent humanoid robots. He wanted to develop a race of robots or mechanical men that would do all the hard work for us. At the same convention in 1898, Tesla showed off part of his robot invention. He asked audience members to ask this device mathematical questions. The device would solve the questions and provide the answer by blinking the lights on its antenna an appropriate number of times. He was really pushing for this automation, like having things move and think on its own without an operator. Not only was he hoping to make humanoid robots, but also wanted to use these devices to control organs or to create self-driving vehicles, etc. He pitched his idea to the military, to the US government, and to Great Britain, but no one picked up on it. Again, kind of good, because we don't need a race of robots wiping out the human race. Coming in at number two, we have the electric powered supersonic airship. Who doesn't dream of leaping into the air and flying? Tesla was no exception to this and from a young age was fascinated with flight. It was only a matter of time before he came up with his own idea of how to get around the world. When the warden cliff failed, he turned his eyes to the sky. Using his knowledge of electrical and mechanical engineering, he dreamed up a supersonic airship. He first discussed his ideas in July 1919 in Reconstruction Magazine, in which he described a craft that could travel eight miles above the earth, aiming for passengers to travel from New York City to London in three hours. He was yet still obsessed with the idea of wireless electricity and believed the craft could be powered by it, meaning they didn't need fuel. Tesla still had never given up on the power plant aspect of the Wardenclyffe and believed if enough were built around the world, their power supply would be unlimited. We have gotten pretty close to realizing Tesla's dream with kinds of crafts we have today, <laughs> like the ones that were flying over our building today. But Tesla never realized the dream himself. And in our number one spot today, we have the UFOs. Did you know that Tesla came up with a UFO spacecraft that looked an awful lot like the ones we see in alien movies? In fact, people believe that he was in contact with aliens and they told him how to invent this craft. 
In 1928, Tesla created a patent called the world's first flying saucer. Not only would it defy gravity, but it would have been the fastest aircraft out there even to this day had they successfully created it. So the UFO resembled both a helicopter and an airplane component wise. There were no wings or propellers, giving it that UFO spacecraft vibe. Had it been created, it would have changed the world of aviation forever. When Tesla built an experimental station, he said he picked up some strange signals from space. He believed these signals were from aliens and that they provided him with a code that translated to 1234. He believes they sent out a code in numbers because numbers are universal. So could it be that he actually did make contact with aliens and then they provided him with instructions on how to build this craft or what? All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let us know in the comments below which one of these inventions you found the coolest or the weirdest or the scariest. Just let us know. Anyways guys, I've been your host Rachel Fisher. I've been your host Lindsay Ivan. And until next time. See you when I see you. Bye. <laughs> Smash that like button. See you later.